Today we're going to be playing with image magic again a little bit. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take multiple photos and put them into uh, basically uh, one photo all next to each other or under each other, depending on what we want. I'm just going to use these images. I went to the dentist this morning and they took some x-rays and I asked for the x-ray files. I was really hoping for the actual um, uh, DICOM files, which I uh, did a little view on when I first started doing tutorials, uh, which are basically, uh, it stands for Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine, and most x-rays, MRIs, and stuff are in that format. Uh, but my dentist was nice enough to email me at least the JPEG files, so hey, look, here are my teeth. Um, so let's say I want to put all these into one image so I can look at them all at once. Uh, well, let's uh, do that using image magic from the command line. So I'll open up my terminal here, make it a little bit bigger. And um, first I have to uh, go to the folder. Actually, it'd be easier if I just right click here and go open terminal. Make sure I'm in the terminal, I'm in the uh, folder where my files are saved. I'm actually connected to my Pogo plug. So I'm, these images are actually on my server right now in the other room. Uh, but that's fine, I'm gonna do uh, uh, convert, uh, which is a command we've used many a times in previous tutorials. It's part of the image magic pack package. And then I'm going to say, asterisk dot and I'm going to say JPG uh, all capital in this case just because that's how the file names are that's how the dentist uh, sent it to me but obviously it would be case sensitive so make sure you do it appropriately and if they're PNGs do PNG but then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say dash append and then we're going to give it an output file name and we'll say output and I'll call it dot PNG we'll hit enter and we got no output, which is good, means there were no errors. And if I click right here, you can see uh, that it has put all the images stacked one on top of each other. So I can zoom in here, and then I can scroll up and down and look at them all. That's nice, but let's say I wanted uh, them to go the other way. I want them to go horizontally rather than vertically. Well, that's simple. Same exact command, except for instead of dash append, we're going to do plus append. And I'll give it a new uh, output file name here. I'll just call it output2.png. And we come back here. And now you can see we've got a new image. When I click on it, it's all the images uh, lined up uh, horizontally here rather than vertically. Well, yeah, I think that's correct. Um, so uh, that's great. But let's say you didn't want to do all the files in the folder, or some of them are PNGs and some of them are JPEGs. Well, you could also list out the files individually. So same command, we'll change the output to three so we have a different file so we don't overwrite the last one. But what we can do is um, name out each file individually. So let's say I just want to do uh, three of these photos. That's one of them. Uh, then I'll do another one here. And I'll do, let's see, we'll do this one here. So there we go. Instead of all five photos, I'm just going to be doing uh, the one that ends in 15, 16, and 18. So instead of using the asterisk, I'm just naming each file plus append. Once again, the plus sign will make it go horizontally rather than vertically. And uh, we got an output file called output3.png, but obviously you can do other formats. We can do a TIFF format if we want, or a uh, JPEG or BMP, a bitmap. Uh, I just like PNGs. So we'll do that, and if we look here, we have output three, I click on it, and you can see it's just those three images added in there. So that's a quick look at using convert to combine images, multiple images into one file, either horizontally or vertically, uh, depending on what you want. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit the links in the description. Also, my website, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with the K. And also check out the description of this video for links to our Facebook fan page. Go ahead and head over there and like that page if you are on Facebook. I appreciate it, and once again, have a great day.